Hello, in this video we're going to do a public goods problem where we have two consumers with utility functions. We're going to find the optimal and private provision of the public good. And here we have person one's utility function. Utility is a function of X, the public good, and Y subscript one, the private good. So the amount of consumption for the public good is going to be, say, the amount of fireworks that person one and person two shoots off. So we can make a substitution for x as x subscript one plus x subscript two. Person has a hundred dollars. The price of fireworks is a dollar and the price of the private good, let's also keep it at a dollar. So the budget constraint for consumer one is given as follows. For consumer two, basically the same setup, same type of utility function. We've got the public good, the private good, and the amount of public good available to consumer two is the amount of fireworks that both consumers purchase. So making a substitution for X, and we're going to have the same budget constraint for consumer two. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Rewriting each consumer's utility function. And we're now going to find the socially optimal provision of the public good. And that is given by this condition where the marginal rate of substitution for consumer or person one added to the marginal rate of substitution for person two equals the price of the public good divided by the price of the private good. In terms of marginal utility, the marginal rate of substitution here for consumer one is going to be the marginal utility of the public good divided by the marginal utility of the private good and likewise similarly defined for person two. So we need to get a bunch of marginal utilities here. So I take the partial derivative of person one's utility function with respect to X subscript one, and we get back this result. Taking the partial derivative of person one's utility function with respect to the private good, we get back this result. As for person two, very similar looking results. The only thing different here is that we got y subscript 2 instead of y subscript 1. Now we're going to form these ratios of the marginal utilities. I do that down here. So person 1, marginal utility of fireworks, divided by the marginal utility of the private good, and then add that to the marginal rate of substitution for person 2. Moving on just rewriting that last result from the last screen. And now we're going to cancel some things. Uh, let's get, take care of these fractions. So one-third divided by two-thirds is just one over two. And then let's follow the rules of exponent. So this y subscript one raised to the minus one-third in the denominator, I'm just going to move that into the numerator, and that'll leave us with just y subscript one. And then I'm going to take this x subscript 1 plus x, sub, x subscript 2 raised to the minus 2 thirds power. Move that into the denominator. And that will simplify to the following, x subscript 1 plus x subscript 2. Same type of simplification over here. Next thing we can do if we want, we can just note that x is just uh, the amount of fireworks from person one plus person two. So making that substitution. And then recalling that the constraints for each consumer was given by 100 equals x subscript one plus y subscript one and 100 equals x subscript two plus y subscript two. So I'm gonna make a substitution here now where I have y subscript one. I'm gonna plug in 100 minus x subscript one and doing a similar thing for y subscript two. So making those substitutions, substituting out those y uh, terms, we get this result. 
And now we're going to simplify this. Okay, just rewriting the last result here. And multiplying everything through by 2x. We get 2x here on the right-hand side. And simplifying the left-hand side. We get this. Simplifying it further. And now making one substitution here. x subscript 1 plus x subscript 2 is just the total amount of the public good, or x. Solving for x, the optimal provision of the public good is 66.7 units. All right, let's look at what the private provision of the public good would be, which is going to be less than the socially optimal provision. So once again, just setting up our problem, person one, we already got these marginal utilities, so I'll go through this a little quicker. And what we're going to do now is just going to set the marginal rate of substitution for person one equal to the price of fireworks divided by the price of the private good. So doing that. And simplifying. And we get this result right here. We're going to take this result right here. Well, I just I multiplied everything through by 2 in parentheses. We're going to take this result right here and plug it into our constraint. So here's our constraint. We're going to plug this into our constraint. And now I'm going to solve this for x subscript 1. So just rewriting that last condition. Now solving for x subscript 1. Moving some things around. Now dividing through by 3, we get this key equation. We're going to do the same thing for person 2. Get the marginal utilities, setting the marginal rate of substitution equal to the ratio of the prices. Okay, Price of good x divided by price of good y, since each is a dollar, it's just 1. Simplifying this. Simplifying this condition here, we get this result. And as before, we're going to plug that into the constraint. So we plug this into person 2's constraint. And we're going to solve for x subscript 2. Remember, person 2's constraint was 100 equals x subscript 2 plus y subscript 2. So where we have the y subscript 2, I'm now replacing the 2x subscript 1 plus 2x subscript 2. And solving, we get that result. So basically, we got two equations and two unknowns. And now we're just going to solve this. So I'm just going to substitute uh, this 100 divided by 3 minus 2x subscript 1 divided by 3 in for x2 up here, in for x subscript 2. So making that substitution, okay, x subscript 2, I'm just substituting in this bottom result. And now solving for x subscript 1. It's multiplying everything through by 9. So with the private provision, consumer 1, person 1 would buy 20 fireworks. And what about person 2? We can just take this 20 here and plug it into this equation over here. And we see that person 2 would buy 20 fireworks. So taken together, the total provision of this public good would be 40, which is less than the socially optimal provision, which we found was 66.7. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.